According to a new report by the New York Post, six of the migrants that were charged in that infamous attack of New York City police officers are getting offered plea deals. The troubling news comes as one of the accused attackers was arrested again while out on bail. Our Brian Yannis is live in New York City. He's covering this. He's got the latest. Brian? Hey, John. Well, look, we all remember the video from January, a group of migrants pulling, grabbing, and kicking two NYPD officers in Times Square after the officers asked the men to move. They resisted, and seven migrants were ultimately charged with second-degree assault, a felony punishable by up to seven years behind bars. Well, now the New York Post reports Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg has offered plea deals. Three migrants reportedly were offered to serve one year in jail, two others offered a deal to serve just six months in jail and another offered a deal to serve two years if they all agree to plead guilty. 24-year-old migrant Yohenry Brito was offered a one-year plea deal. Brito was held behind bars on $15,000 bail, but was freed in February after an activist priest from Brooklyn reportedly posted his bail. Well, according to the Post, Brito was rearrested for apparently attempting to steal from Macy's. Despite this, a judge allowed Brito to walk free yesterday. This all comes as New York State Democrats effectively blocked a bill Tuesday that would have forced law enforcement to notify ICE when they arrest migrants, bypassing New York City's sanctuary laws. Republican Assembly Member Jarrett Gandolf, Gandolfo introduced the bill after the assault on NYPD officers in Times Square. The, the vote yesterday showed that the Assembly Democrats are more concerned with protecting the sanctuary state here in New York than they are in protecting legal New York residents. Uh, the fact is they may spend a year in jail, maybe it'll be less than that, but we need the federal government to step up and get these dangerous individuals out of our country. Welcome back folks. If you haven't already, definitely hit that like, hit that subscribe, also hit that notification bell. What this uh, article stood out to me, 148 House Democrats vote against bill to deport migrants who assault police. This can't, this doesn't even make any sense here. Choose truth over facts. I don't understand, Biden. I don't understand what you're doing. And quite frankly, I'm going to tell you this. I don't even think he knows what's going on. See, a lot of times the president these days are just a face to push the agenda in. I, re I believe, you know, I, much as I love Reagan, I believe that that happened to Reagan the second term. I think he had Alzheimer's. They said he was uh, reportedly not. If, if if you just watch his debates, because he was the master of words before that, he he can remember a script. Because and we're talking about Reagan here. Reagan can remember a script. He's an actor, but his second term he was fumbling and bumbling over his words. He didn't seem the same. Even when that Contra war was going on, he I don't believe he knew nothing about it. I think it was the the House and Senate running stuff like they normally do. See, that's why you, you want an old man in there. You ever think when, you, when you're dealing with, you know, you see it with your grandmother. Your, your, your grandmother's vibrant. She's moving around. And, and when she wants her husband to sign a check, she just go in there. He just signs it and then go watch Gunsmoke. That's Joe Biden. <laughs> you know, like right now he's, he's not into it. He's not, he don't know what's going on. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, there's a video where it looked like he's allegedly crapping in his pants. He's falling on the bike. Like, there's so many things going on with this old man. He should not be running the country. So I don't, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. I, I don't believe he knows this stuff is going on, man, because back in the day, he was more to the middle. But anyway, a bill aimed at booting illegal migrants, immigrants, out of the U.S. if they assault a police officer past the House of Representatives on Wednesday evening. It's one of the several pieces of legislation that House Republican leaders are putting up for a vote this week as part of National Police Week. Now, the bill was passed with a 265 to 148 votes with 54 Democrats voting with the GOP. Wow. Now, honestly, I really believe that this is a political ploy. Not to say that 
the Republicans don't want this bill to be in place, but I think it's a political ploy because they write the bill and then they have to give it to the Senate to vote on it. And if that passes through there, then you put it on the desk for Joe Biden to sign. Now, if Joe Biden is against police, he's going to lose the voters that's in the middle. It's just crazy how uh, they're trying to, and, and we both we all know what is going on here. They they, they need that they're trying to get all these immigrants in here and try to get them to vote. They're trying to get a whole new voting class because they won't change what they're doing. They're going to continue to do what they do, and voters are tired of it. His his base is tired of what he's doing. They just realized for the last three and a half years, uh, the economy is worse. He's lying about that. He stated that there was 9% inflation rate when he got here, which it was only 1%. And now it's up to 9%, I believe. Prices is going through the roof. He's gaslighting people saying, hey, man, more people got more money to spend. Really? But, but everybody else is struggling to buy milk, eggs, and bread, spending way more money because you keep printing money and you're taking away our buying power with the money. And you're saying, oh, we created jobs. Interesting. So you're saying you created jobs. How did you, who's paying the jobs? The taxpayers, because you, you, you keep inflating the government. So you got more government jobs paying by taxpayers, but the free enterprise companies and, and businesses are struggling. It just doesn't make any sense. But, and then you have this. So you're trying to get all these voters in here you don't care who they are. And these people on cameras insulting, assaulting police officers. Whose side are you on? Man, if a, if a black man did that and started assaulting police officers, guess what's going to happen? I would hear for me or Trump, and you ain't black. It's interesting because you dumping everybody. You're not dumping these migrants into your neighborhoods. I just don't understand how does you have clearly these got these people don't care about our laws over here. We're a Democrat Republic, meaning we have laws here and they don't care about the laws. They're sticking their middle finger up at the uh, the cameras when they're getting arrested. They do not care. A lot of these people are gang members. Not all. But there are some sliding through the the, the cracks. And it's just unbelievable. What how Joe Biden and his his uh administration is just destroying this country. So with that being said, what do you guys think about this bill? What do you think about the Democrats, uh, the one hundred and forty eight of the House representatives voted against this bill? Leave a comment below and I'll see you on the next video.